Hey guys, Pulp here, the Snarp with Skills, and welcome, I guess, I'm gonna film an episode now of Pixelmon on Miragecraft. Um, I'm midway through EV training Dragonair, and I found a shiny Growlithe. So, let's see if we can catch it. With a dusk ball, hopefully it's still nighttime. Hopefully it's still nighttime. I do not know if Minecraft is actually getting audio captured or not. And we caught him. Stats. Ooh, brave. And what is his IVs? 21 in attack. That's good. Sweet. Uh, yeah. I'm going to just put him in the PC for now. Okay, guys. Um, I didn't really have anything planned. I just wanted to film catching the shiny, plus Minecraft Auto isn't getting captured currently. So I'm going to put this actually before the next, before the intro to the next episode. And I will see you guys on the other side of the intro. Later. Hey guys, Pulper here, the Snipe with the Skills, and welcome back to a new episode of Pixelmon on Mirage Craft. In the last episode, we got Sep we got Sniper to level 100, and off camera, I have fully EV trained Dragonair, and oh yeah, Master's on, and I also just finished voting, and I did not get anything, but. As you saw before the intro, we got a shiny Growlithe while we were EV training. And it's brave, which means it's really good. I mean, I know speed's down, but still, it's brave, which it can still leave some damage. So I'm not sure if we're going to put it in the Wonder Trade just yet. I already Wonder Trade today, and I believe I got a... Aaron, I got an Aaron. So, for today's episode, it's gonna be a little bit different than usual. The plan is we are going to just chat a little bit, because I gotta catch you guys up, because I haven't recorded in a few days, or posted Pixmon in a few days, but I am still posting for Vidtober, that's still a plan. It was just, I should fill you guys in with, uh how the last few days went. So let me just double check. Um, let's take that off so that Dragonair will get everything. We'll just start fighting Tentacruels and I'll start telling you how the last few days went. So last week was my week off in between classes and I did a lot of recording for Vidtober. And so what happened was that, oh, let me just see what's down there. Nope, nothing. What ended up happening to me was that uh, I went back to classes on Monday and yesterday, and today is my day off. And when I, like, Monday went great, it was only one class, I got home, took care of some, some stuff, then I contacted some people and we were going to record to on Tuesday after I got home from classes later on in the afternoon. But what ended up happening was I went to classes on yesterday on Tuesday and I got to school uh, uh I got to school and I started feeling like I woke up and there was a little bit of a pain on one of my eyelids. And so I was just like, uh. I was like, uh, hopefully it's just like some irritated sleepies. You know what I mean? You know what I mean when I say sleepies? It's that stuff you. Sorry if this sounds kind of gross, but when you wake up and there's like. crust. on your eye. eye lid and it. You know what I mean? It's like that kind of stuff. 
I had some of that. I thought it was just that really bad, but as the day went on, I started sneezing and my nose started running. And I ended up in, after, and like I was sneezing most of my first class. And then on my way over to my, like in between classes, I had a little bit of a break, so I went and got some food. But also I went out to my car and like got a huge ball of tissues. And like I put them in my pocket, so I had tissues in case I needed them. But, so I went to my second class, I struggled through it, I kept sneezing. And then I, after class, I ended up going home. Like, because my classes were all over for the day. So, what ended up happening, so I got home. Sneezed most of the way home. Luckily, I didn't get into any car accidents from the sneezing. And I just bundled up and just tried feeling better. I was drinking so much water. I drank three bottles of water at school. Actually refilled one of my water bottles to get the third one. And what ended up happening was I... I wasn't sure what I had. I thought it was, I, I got a little mixed up. If you saw my tweet yesterday, I was wrong. If you have a head cold, please do not try and sweat it out overnight. That's a fever. I got mixed up and I kind of feel silly that I got mixed up with that. But what I ended up doing was like we had uh, chicken pot pie for dinner and I ended up having also a big bowl of chicken broth and then I took that um, like that vitamin st that um, emergency I took that stuff like and it was really it, it was unique like it was raspberry flavored but I really I only enjoy raspberry once in a while that rare occasion we buy raspberry ginger ale so it's it's a little bit yeah but okay before i fight this i gotta wait for clear lag but so what ended up happening was my like i just went to bed early and i ended up not being able to record with the guys i wanted to record with which are truex norseman and iceman 8030 oh you can't oh my house chunk didn't load but you can see beyond it that's weird Okay, so my plan for today's episode is the story uh, story time and the episode will end. Sorry if it's a little short, but I did want to record today. But once we reach level 40, we're going to end the episode. Come on. There we go. So... Anyways, I went to bed, bundled up, like wearing clothes, wearing like really insulated pajamas, because I, I had still thought that you're supposed to cook it out, you know, like just sweat it out. Like I actually drove home yesterday with my oh Aqua Tail. Let's get rid of Slam. Like I, I stupidly drove home with my he heater on, so I was like actually sweating on the ride. I honestly had thought that that would work. But that was before I realized you're not supposed to, you can't cook it out. Sorry if I use the word cook, but I always think of that. Like you're disinfecting it or something like that. Also, I think the, we might be at level 40 very soon. Uh oh, no, uh oh, we're at level 40, so. I'll hit, I'll attack this Tentacruel. I'll wrap up the story and we'll, we'll hit up the, um, the trap for Kinglers, and then we'll end the episode. Sorry if it's a little shorter. I just, I did want to film and catch you guys up. I'm actually also taking advantage, because thankfully this is my day off, and I didn't get work scheduled, so, oh, that would have been bad. If I was at my workplace, I would have got, I would have either been bagging groceries, or, like, 
like moving carts around and both of those things probably would have gotten almost every single customer at our workplace sick because shopping carts you put your hands on them which is what I where I move them around and bagging groceries you already realize I'm handling the food that they're going to eat like sure frozen foods will get frozen and probably cooked along with the raw meats but like sandwich meat and bags of bread so I'm really happy I didn't get scheduled for once. Like, I did want to get scheduled for work, but at the same time, I am still a little sick and icky. But hopefully I, I feel a lot better. Like, I woke up and I feel at least 50% better than I did when I went to bed. And the best part was, um, I was very cautious with tissues when I was, like, really runny. Because I didn't want to make my nose raw, because that's one thing that I hate. You know what I mean, right? When your nose, like, you have to sleep with, like, petroleum jelly on your nostrils because it gets... Sorry if this is TMI. This is actually going to probably be it. The title might be too much information chat, I think. But, you know what I mean? Like, you have to... You have to rehydrate it or help it heal. Because if you, you went too crazy with the tissues and it hurt when you went to bed. Thankfully, that did not happen. Actually, no, I'm going to use a Thunderbolt and Psychic, and then we'll call the episode. So... Yeah, also off-camera, it's not on my inventory, but yesterday I actually, when I was just on the server really quickly, or it was actually two days ago, I forget when, I somehow got the 1% chance from finding a growl. Oh, when I was EV training, when I fought a Growlithe, somehow I actually managed to get the 1% chance, and I got Netherrack. I just fought the Magic Carp accidentally. Whoops. Let's see any more? Slowbro's over here, and then we'll call the episode soon. Once again, sorry it's really short. It's just I... I did want to catch you guys up. Still feeling a little sniffles and under the weather, though. So I'm going to keep the episode short. So that I can go back to just resting, because I need to really rest up, because I do have classes tomorrow. I thought I saw something over here. Did I see an Infernape? Nope, no Infernapes. But anyways, um, yeah, that's how my last two days went. But don't worry, like I said, I last week, when I had my week off from classes, I did pre-record a lot. And here's a little, little, just a little, like, just info for you guys. Um, I know I've only posted as of today, like, not many episodes of Sky Factory, but I already have, I'm already past like the 11 episodes mark in, fi in recordings. I just have to edit them and post them daily. Like they're going to probably be posted every day until I catch up. Like I did a huge thing here. That's the little spoiler. I'm not going to say what I did a huge thing in between episodes or after the last episode, which I filmed yesterday. No, actually I filmed two days ago. And I hadn't filmed, like, I was I was going ham filming last week. Like, I was, I'm really enjoying Sky Factory. I really have one more Psychic. So we just need one more Tentacruel. Or, and we need some Kinglers, Slow Bros, or... Something. Nothing else is spawning. Um, I mean, I, I know we're about to get nighttime, which means we may be able to get a Kyogre. It's still a really slim chance, but this hopefully will increase the chances. I was thinking I should have made it a huge stairwell of water. 
because then the Pokemon would swim into the... But that would have been so much more sand. I probably would have actually drained pretty much the entire ocean. But the way that would have worked, it was it would have flowed everything into the center. How high are these? No, those aren't the right level. But yeah, I just wanted to catch you guys up with how my week's going. Hopefully I feel better soon. Let's see, anything else? Um, nope. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry if this episode's a little short, I just wanted to catch you guys up. Uh, currently I have a video rendering for Sky Factory for, t for, for tomorrow or the next day after that. Because since this is my day off from classes and classes just started, I don't have any homework yet. So I'm going to try and get a lot of editing done. So in case classes get really serious, I have backup videos I can post. So my plan for the next episode is we're probably... Actually, I think in between episodes, I'm either going to fully EV train... Eevee, because that's going to be an ordeal to Eevee train. Or something else, I'm not sure yet. That's going to be a really big ordeal, though, to Eevee train my Eevee. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. Like I said, today's episode is kind of short, just like I said, catching you up. Oh, there's something we can fight. Two things, yay! Really fast. Perfect, that's the last of our Thunderbolts. And did it get us another level? We'll find it right now. Nope. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. Like I said, thank you all for watching today's episode of Pixelmon on Miragecraft. Be sure to join the server. It's a lot of fun, and I'm actually not sure how many more open slots there are on Blue Team. I'm honestly not sure. But, yeah. Really hope you're enjoying Vidtober. As as of today, when I'm going to post this on, on the 8th, which I've already posted to Sky Factory earlier today, um, we are 13 days away from my birthday, which means be sure to comment in the first on the announcement vlog for Vidtober, if you haven't yet, to win the free Minecraft account. I'm really looking forward to doing that. I've never done that before. It's, a, it's my first giveaway. And I have a feeling after I pick the winner, I think what I'm planning on doing, I'm not sure yet. This isn't set in stone. It's just an idea. I might, I might remove whoever wins the Remove the person who wins the Minecraft account from the raffle. And then do a second one with the remaining people. And so that the runner-up doesn't get the, a free Minecraft account. But if they're interested, they can get in a Skype call with me for fun. Or maybe even depending on like circumstances, I don't know yet. Uh, even... For like a Minecraft mini game or something, we could f I could film with you. I don't know yet. That's just an idea. Hopefully you like it. And as always, my name is Paul underscore TF2. Snipe with the skills. I wonder if you can tell today that I I am slightly sick. As I end this video, I realize I sound slightly different. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, Paul my name is Paul underscore TF2. Snipe with the skills. I really hope I feel better soon. And I will see you later, my fellow mercs. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm back again before the end of this episode. Um, I got messaged by someone on the server that I had to turn back on my recording and head up to the lookout for something. Not sure what it is, so let's just go head up there. Um, so, I mean, that's still there from Potato and... Let's just head up here. 
and head up to the lookout. There isn't anything up here. I'm not sure why they told me to turn on my recording. Um. Alright, let's just head back. What? What is the? Oh boy. Not again. Reading. Pio, what are you doing down here? Well, we've been friends for a long time, and do you remember how you got here? Yes. You came here from Hellfire. Yes. This is Hellfirean native land. I have been the leader of Team Rocket all of this time. I've been working undercovers um, to make sure you didn't find our base. I'm trying to get ultimate power, Kyogre. Isn't that Team Aqua's job? Nope. <laughs> well, you've made it this oh, far. I still want the Kyogre. You've made it this far, so let's see how you farewell against me. Okay. If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you'll get. Go Giga Shuriken. Let's hit you with a Thunderbolt. Brave Bird. Now it's time for what I got from killing the Team Aqua leader. Oh gosh. Not the Kraken. Not even fast One enough. Hit KO. Hmm. And I still can't Let's defeat try this. And I still can't defeat a single Elite Four. <laughs> Go sacrifice. Oh no. Well, you don't know this, but I'm currently leveling up my own sacrifice. You don't know this, but I have three sacrifices. Oh god. The Kraken is all I need until I get ultimate power. <laughs> See, then you'll have to deal with Freezer Burn. Go sacrifice number two. I didn't pick my move yet, so now I know what to do. <laughs> do you know what type I am? Yes. Out. Um, go Mega Charizard. Uh oh. Hmm. Might as well try this. This isn't gonna end well for me. Um. Oh. Oh, it did. Did that just happen? Oh, crit ice shard. Really? I have 14 HP and missed two 90% attacks. <laughs> you, how much? Not, did it have 90 accuracy? Yes. That's why I always pick accuracy over maximum power. I have um, heatwave because it's still pretty accurate, but and it can burn. Yeah. Um, go flash. Splash Lucario. Um, no. Yeah, it is. Oh. Wait. You switched. I didn't do a single thing. Oh. This is the bug that made me lose. It happens once in a while. To master. Wow, Freezer Burns alive. Yeah. Really tanky. Yes. So is is the Kraken your last Pokemon now? I still have Flash and maybe one more. Let me check. Yeah. Oh, okay. Only Flash. I have a feeling I'm getting close combat or Brave Bird. Please hit. Oh yeah, uh, Aqua Tail is ni uh, 95, correct? Yes. I keep I keep missing Aqua Tails every day. And looks like I lost. Yes. <laughs> um waiting. I mean you realize Earthquake would probably kill me. I'm choice. 
Oh, you. That's oh, why that's why you always switch the Kraken. 